Good morning, guys. Today is October 15, 2021. Um, I want to start off my day with a prayer, but I want to include you guys. I wanted to pray for you and your family and your loved ones. So let's get into it. Heavenly Father, God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we humbly come before the feet of your throne, Lord Jesus Christ. And you said when two and three are gathered in your name with faith, there you are in the midst of us. And I know that I'm not alone while I'm praying right now, Heavenly Father. God, I have my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus with me. So I uplift them right now in prayer, Abba Father God. I stand in the gap. I intercede and I lift them up in prayer, Heavenly Father God, to you. That you place your mighty right hand upon us right now, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That you strengthen us in your perfect love. For your perfect love casts out all fears. For there is no fear in your perfect love, Heavenly Father God. Lord Jesus, I come before you and I ask you in the authority of your name, Abba Father God. That if any of my brothers and sisters in Christ that are feeling weary, that are feeling weak, that their hearts may be feeling numb. Their emotions starting to feel numb towards everything and they may be feeling tired or whatever that it may be heavenly father god i bind and i rebuke that spirit of 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 a hardened heart at right now in the mighty name of jesus that you bring him back home to you heavenly father god like the prodigal son like like you said lord jesus that you will leave the 99 to save that one that you you wish that none should perish but have eternal life so i pray for every single one of them right now abba father god that you place them with your peace and your strength that you pour out your holy spirit upon them right now lord in jesus mighty name that if there's anybody that they may be praying for that they may be worried about um that are unbelievers in their family that may be their children their brothers or sisters or mom to dad whoever that it may be heavenly father god that you go before them heavenly father god that you show your love to them that you reveal yourself to them heavenly father god if it be your will allow it to be done lord god we continue to be consistent in prayer devoted in prayer zealous for you lord jesus christ of nazareth i pray abba father god that we continue to be obedient and disciplined in prayer and our in our walk in you heavenly father god i thank you jesus for all that you do for us on a daily basis even from our past all the things that we might not have seen before we see now lord jesus i thank you lord jesus for all the times that you might have saved us thank you jesus for all the times that you blessed us that you continue to provide for us all of our our finances and our health and our comings and our goings and wherever that we may be and go you continue to bless us i thank you jesus for being our provider i thank you jesus for being our shield and our buckler i thank you jesus for being our protector and our defender and our advocate i thank you jesus that you continue to pray for us as well lord god i thank you abba father god for sending your one and only son to die on the cross for our sins even when we were the enemy, even when we were your enemy, Heavenly Father God, Lord Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. You shed your blood on the cross for us. When we did not deserve it. Even now we don't deserve your love. Even now we don't deserve your mercy and grace. Even now we don't deserve the privileges that we have. But we thank you, Jesus, for every single one of them. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Heavenly Father God, for uplifting my, my family, for my children, our household, my brothers and sisters, their children, family, and household, Heavenly Father God, that they continue to be consistent in prayer about Father God, that you hear their prayers, Lord Jesus, that you answer their prayers, that you allow them not only to know that you love them, but for them to experience your love, for them to experience your faith, to experience their spiritual and physical walk with you, Lord God, that you come to us about Father God, speaking to us, encouraging us, Filling us with your boldness, Heavenly Father God. I thank you, Jesus, that you not allow the enemy, that we not allow the enemy. We pray against the enemy right now in Jesus' mighty name. We rebuke him in the name of Jesus to take his filthy hands off of us, our families, off of the every word and action that we do, that he may not stop us to do your will, that he may not stop us to continue to spread your word or to uplift our brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, that we continue to spread encouragement, that we continue to spread the um the peace the gospel of peace the peace that comes from you lord jesus just knowing that you died on the cross for our sins that it's the blood of jesus that saves us thank you heavenly father god for this day thank you jesus thank you jesus for placing your guardian angels warring angels ministering angels from your heavenly throne room that you encamp that you command them take charge over us that they encamp around us about father god everywhere that we would be and go everywhere heavenly father god even as we sleep in our comings and our goings as we sleep while well, it's day and night 
that you continue to instruct our hearts, that you continue to send ministry and angels to minister to our hearts, to strengthen us in the areas of our life that need to be strengthened and uproot all the things in our life that has nothing to do with you, that is wicked, that has that comes against your will that displeases you above father god we don't want to live in the way that displeases you we want to live we want to live for you heavenly father god uproot all those things in our life that is not of you heavenly father god but fill it with love fill it with peace heavenly father god place your mighty hand upon our head upon our hearts and fill our hearts with your perfect love for your perfect love casts out our fear fill our hearts with your unselfish love heavenly father god uproot all greed uproot all selfishness uproot all darkness uproot the spirit of the world and distractions and temptations that the enemy tries to place before us uproot all those heavenly father god and replace it with your unconditional love your mercy and your grace with your peace and your comfort your wisdom and your knowledge your patience understanding with your holy spirit and your salvation above father god fill us and allow us to be more like you jesus continue to sanctify us helping us to grow spiritually and spiritually and physically in our relationship with you oh lord god that our fellowship continue to grow strong filling us with your spirit of gentleness meekness kindness humbleness and humility lord in jesus mighty name help us to be sharing caring and kind to be compassionate for others heavenly father god to do and to serve you first and foremost and our brothers and sisters that may be in need whether it be in prayer or uh, in physical need or the in need of hearing the word of god or encouragement whatever that it may be lord god use us use us for your will use us for your kingdom use us as a tool as an instrument as a mouthpiece for your kingdom above father god we are not our own we were with we were bought with a price at calvary the blood of jesus bought us if the price at Calvary was very high, is a high price we were paid for. And I thank you, Jesus, that you use our ransom lives in any way that you choose, Lord God. I thank you, Jesus, for all of your mercy and grace that we don't deserve. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us. Thank you, Jesus, for saving us. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for my children. I thank you, Jesus, for my family and our protection. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing us with a home for feeding us on a daily basis for blessing us with clean water to drink clothes on our back our finances and our health and our vehicles thank you jesus for all that you do for us and my brothers and sisters in christ jesus uplift them lord god that we may not grow weary that we may not grow weak that we may not grow weary in doing well lord god because whatever we reap we sow and i thank you jesus that you bless us holy spirit lead us in the path of righteousness that we may that we may plant blessings that we may plant goodness in the name of jesus that we may plant them then when we harvest what we sow that it'd be blessings i thank you jesus that we keep our eyes on you focused on you heavenly father god i thank you jesus for all that you do for your love for your love that you bless us with strengthen us in your love we know heavenly father god that all spiritual gifts that the holy spirit blesses us with we can have every single one of them, but if we don't have love, we have nothing. So our goal, I pray, Lord God, that it be to have love, your perfect love, not what the world thinks is love, but your love, Lord Jesus. I want your love. We want your love. So I thank you, Lord, that you teach us your ways. Lead us and guide us in your truth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, place your full armor of God upon us. From the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet placing your helmet of salvation upon us your breastplate of righteousness your breastplate of faith and love your belt of truth your sandals of peace sword of the holy spirit and your shield of faith is strongly being placed upon us right now lord and growing daily lord in jesus mighty name helping us to be strengthened in every part of our our armor heavenly father god thank you jesus that we continue to abide in your word and your word abides in us so you continue to sanctify us Thank you, Jesus, that we may not conform to the ways of this world, but be led by you, Holy Spirit, to lead a life that is pleasing unto you, Abba, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, for my family. And whoever's listening to this video is my family. Bless them, Lord Jesus. Go forth and bless them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God. Okay, guys. Amen, amen, and amen. I I pray, I pray in Jesus' mighty name that you, wherever that you may be and go, that the angels go before you and camp around you, protect you in your comings and goings, that you, that you were blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys. I'm about to come out with a video with a dream that I had 
that I've been holding on to for a couple months. Well, not a couple months. I'd probably say five or six months now. Um, it's very interesting, and uh, um, I've been praying on it for a while. And I think, I think um, when you hear it, it, it'll sound familiar. But I love you guys. I pray that y'all have a blessed day in Jesus' mighty name. I love you. And if there's anything that you need, again, I have some Bibles. If anybody's in need of Bibles, um, you don't have to pay for it. I'll send it out to you. Um, if you need anything, if you need prayer, anything specifically, let me know. And if there's anything that you even need to talk about, whatever that it is, just um, my email address is, I'll put it in the description box. I love you. Have a blessed day in Jesus name. Amen.